Hey guys, this is Madhuba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to work with 3DX Max render element. You can call it passes. But before I proceed, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. So guys, um, I rendered a kitchen and I'm going to show you guys how to use the passes to enhance your 3D rendering. Now these passes are from 3DX Max. As you can see, I, I added just one, two, three, four. And this, which is a render, V-Ray render ID, I don't use it for now, just because I there's no I'm not trying to edit any face of any um, the render, so we are not going to use it. So for now, we are going to work on the image. Is the image I rendered, and by default, this is how it came. So uh, immediately you open and you have your camera raw installed in your um, Photoshop. It will pop up like this. You, you can always edit the color a little bit by increasing the whiteness and maybe the darkness, the black a bit. Okay. And maybe work on the shadow a little bit. And that's fine. Okay, so that's fine. Anyways, this is what you should do. You have something like this. You can always save okay you can always save the the edit you, you you have done just in case you don't want to be adjusting them one by one all the time so what you do is click this place on your camera raw filter and save the settings so these are settings that i have saved okay and when you save you can always load by clicking here and you still load take it to where you set you these are some of the stuff i've saved so these are three some three that i've saved before you click you see the difference you can see so let me use this one i like the the effect that gives me so as you can see this is our image and it's not sharp just the way we want it's not as sharp as we want we're going to use our passes to do add some effects to it so let's go to place we place you place this, this is um, V-Ray Extra Text for, you see the purpose to you see it has um, the the white and the black line all around the edges. This gives it um, outline. So we place it on our image, go to the blend mode and change it to, normally I used to change it to multiply. Okay, as you can see, I used to change it to multiply, but I, every time I try new things just to improve my editing skills, so I've come to use um, color bond. As you can see the difference, the difference between multiply and color bond is that the, the image now is has a little contrast to it, okay? As you can see, has some contrast feeling and I love the feeling instead of using multiply which is quite dull okay and i use color bond so all i do is just reduce the the opacity to what i want and then you go to filter and change and Gaussian blur to it so that it is not so sharp the edges are not so sharp it's a little bit blur so you say okay then you go to your file, place another render element, okay? And then you place the reflection, very reflection pass. And then you say, okay. Then for this, I usually use um, screen before, but now I changed it to color dodge. As you can see how ugly it looks, all we need to do is reduce your opacity to as about 10. Okay. So you can see the little difference. They matters a lot. 
So let's go about placing our refraction. Okay, these are these are the refracted uh, object. So say okay, and we change the blend mode to same color dodge. Okay, as you can see. The effect it gives us so you can always reduce your opacity a bit so now that's fine so let's place our specular this is for highlight so give highlight just like this okay say okay and then we change the blend mode to color dodge so you can see the highlight when you turn up you can see so all you need to do is reduce the opacity or we can just use our max add the max and then use our brush to reduce the highlight okay and then reduce the highlight opacity as you can see so you reduce it based on how you want it okay so that that's that let's also reduce the the overall opacity a bit now that's fine we are going to try to give this um, a sharpness all we need to do is duplicate this file okay convert the file to black and white okay and then we are going to change the filter to high pass okay and then we are going to change the blend mode to over overlay as you can see the effect it gives us it makes our edges quite sharp so what we do is reduce your opacity a bit okay so you can see the difference you can see the edges so now that's that. So what we will do again is try to give it a little bit of contrast by duplicating this, changing the blend the image to black and white, and then we go to the blend mode and change it to soft. As you can see, the contrast it gives our image. So all you do is reduce the opacity a bit to what you want. And that's it. You might also want to give it a little bit of sharp contrast color that by duplicating this image again, instead of changing it to black and white, you just change it to soft. Okay, it, it gives your image that color boost. Okay, and then change your opacity to whatever you want. Okay. So let's just leave it at 20 and let's see if we can always also reduce this a little bit to 20 so that they can share the contrast feeling. All right. So now that's pretty much it for our image. You can always add filter, a glare filter. All right. But before we do that, let's merge our image by holding down shift, alternate, control, and E to convert everything we have done into one image. So what we will do now for us to see what we have done so far is probably is we are going to group everything and select everything by holding down your shift. When you click this one, first one hold down your shift and click the last one you want to merge then you see a group okay turn all this and let's see our effect so far as you can see we have successfully boosted or edited our image okay now this is the one we come with this is what we made to form one image 
So we want to add um, lens lens flare here. You just go to your file where you have your lens flare. So all you need to do is just drag and drop and you say okay. All right. So you say change the blend mode to screen. Right. So you zoom into what you want and you place on the light. Duplicate it by Ctrl J on your keyboard. Place on the light. Okay. Duplicate. Place on the light. Duplicate. Place on the light. Duplicate. Place it. Duplicate. Place it. Okay. Now you can see the difference. You can see the effect it gives our, our 3D. As you can see, it gives it some um, realistic feeling and boost our rendered image. So this is how to enhance your 3D rendered image with um, with using a render element. And we can always, you can always touch up um, the, the image, just add a little bit of sharpness. Okay, as you can see, just add a little bit of sharpness on it. All right, and that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.